Hey guys, as I say, bringing you another video. Now, before the video begins, this video is proudly sponsored by NordVPN, our long, long term sponsor of the channel and obviously our VPN partner. If you don't know what a VPN is, it's a virtual private network and it's basically there to protect you online. If you're interested in one, and I'll kind of tell you what it is, but I'm sure if you're interested in one, you may already know what it is. Uh, but basically, click the link down below, use the code HUZZY, I believe, in the checkout box, and you can kind of get a 70 plus percent discount plus four months extra for free, which is an insane good deal. Um, but yeah, what is a VPN? I've always been open and honest with everybody. If you're at home, you're doing normal things on the internet, you don't really need a VPN. A VPN to me is uh, more for when you're connecting to Wi-Fi's that you don't fully trust, you know, and that is basically every Wi-Fi that is not yours. So for example, I'm going on holiday next week. Uh, you're probably watching this video around that time. And I obviously am staying at a, a villa that's not mine, and it will be their Wi-Fi. You bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be using NordVPN for my MacBook and for my phone whenever I'm connecting to the Wi-Fi. It's, it's just an extra layer of security. You can never trust people nowadays, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, if you're staying in a an Airbnb or you're staying at a hotel, it's worth considering using one. Uh, but even if you're you know working in a coffee shop for a few hours and you're kind of doing information that you just wouldn't want the general public to see it's, it's that simple and basically what a vpn does is think of the internet as you kind of think that you're connecting to the wi-fi and that's it well not great people can basically reverse engineer that connection and kind of see what you're doing if they have access to the wi-fi that you're also on and a vpn kind of blocks that from happening which obviously is a good thing and um, that's the kind of more security side to it but i would also say the more kind of casual side to it and i'll be honest is more the reason i use for a vpn is the more content browsing so again netflix amazon all these places have different content libraries depending where you are in the world and it's kind of annoying that you may be paying for netflix and you want to watch a specific movie but that movie isn't available in your netflix but it's available in a different netflix and it's like really uh but with a vpn you can change your location to be that place that has that movie available and you know every now and then they'll work out what you're doing and you just have to reconnect to a different server and it'll work for another little while you by the way won't get in trouble by netflix or anything like that and um, they'll just be like hey what are you doing and that's about it but uh yeah if you're in the market for a vpn link is down below thank you guys so much if you can sign up it does help out and uh yeah get yourself a great deal link down below peace hey guys this is here bringing you another video welcome back to the alphabet challenge take two we are playing echo eve echo i was going to play elise but it got banned which is weird. Um, very quickly, though. Um, Volley Bear, which again, he's inflated at the moment, 100%. So the Riven, who doesn't play Riven, may struggle. Doesn't play a Mumu. I might try to invade. Ari not looking too good. Fizz obviously is good against Ari. Cold Streak. A lot of Jin games. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, we'll have a good one. I would like to see where the Mumu is starting this game. I'd like to know. So I'm going to go put. A ward on his blue. Wait, double barrier. Ah. Like a... Can't tell if that was a wasp. Because if he starts red, I genuinely might start his blue. Because, like, there's nothing he can do about it, and then Amumu shouldn't really have the confidence to invade. Shouldn't. Some do. It's weird. Oh, hello. Deathwing. There. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to start my blue. Hello. Nice to meet you. And I might inv invade his red. Shame I don't get a leash. Is he getting a leash? What? What season are we in? Why is he getting a leash?
Let me duel, though. We flee for the hills. All right, and now we just continue a jungle clear, and we'll eventually make our way to red. But the, the Mumu can't do anything about this. Let's make them notice. It'd be really weird if he invades me, but he shouldn't have the confidence to do it. There's a small chance he does, but I'd be shocked. Oh, Body Bear is such a silly jump at the moment. I would probably say, question of the day, who do you guys think is the most ELO inflating champ in the game? I genuinely would say it's probably Volibear right now. I think right now it's it's Volibear. If I see someone spamming Volibear, they're probably at a rank that they've never been before. He's insane. I don't think Gwen's that bad. I think if you main champions that Gwen's good against, then obviously, yeah, but... Eh. Come get me. Is Elo inflating another word for overpowered? Uh, it's not the same, no, because, like, Nunu is historically one of the most Elo inflating junglers. He's not overpowered. He can just help people get to ranks that they normally wouldn't get to, playing more typical things. A lot of them typically, again, are very, like, non-mechanical champs, especially. It's kind of like the... If you're not currently playing it, and let's say you're, I don't know, randomly, you're gold three. If you started playing Volibear, I pretty much could guarantee you're going to climb a bit. That's kind of the vibe with these kind of ELO inflating champs. Pretty much anybody can climb playing them. Wait, what? They both just walked into the misfortune. Why? Why? Why did they both just walk into her? I don't. I don't know. That was weird. Uh, chickens are coming. What a name. So has been watching since season four. Just wanted to say I stopped playing years ago, but watching you still brings a. A uh, sense of soothing familiarity. Thanks for everything, Huzzle. Oh, thank you, dude. I appreciate that. That's a kind message. Riven's two levels behind. And there's nothing she can do. Well. Wait. Is this dead? Can't tell. An ally has been slain. There's a Moo Moo. Hmm. You might come here. He might be right here. Yeah. Good prediction. Um, we do the dragon? Wait. What? You're brave. No one keeps me down. Um I would like my bot lane to help here because the Ari could technically come over. Didn't get the five gold. Guys, bot lane, please wake up. If the enemy bot lane gets here, I will literally laugh my head off. Misfortune is not paying attention, is she? Whoa, Ari. Okay. Dude, my was my bot lane so, so, so slow. That's annoying. But like, legit, they just don't move. Je I genuinely don't understand. Oh, oh, whatever. If I was playing AD carry there, guess where I would be? I would have been helping with the dragon. There's no reason not to. You can leave the lane in this area so the enemy team can't do much. Kind of screws them in the long run. Oh, 
free health that Ori just had. He had three health. Both my solo laners are pinging for health. I can't know. Like, Jesus. This is... This is a nightmare. My bot lane refuses to help. Riven's getting destroyed, but you can understand because it's Volley Bear and he's just really OP. And then ult. Huh. And a lot of people playing Volley Bear right now aren't going to be great. They're just playing Volley Bear. My bot lane's doing okay, but yeah, they just refuse to move for the play. So annoying. Can't do anything about that. Because both me solo leaders aren't here. I try and steal one. I think I should try and steal one, but it might get me killed. Oh, okay, I got one. Are you serious, bro? This Ari is, I don't know, very eager to be roaming. Hmm. Wait, oh, what the what? Why is the fish here? I don't know where the volley bear is, and this is scaring me being around this area because he is somewhere. Yeah, every play I'm going for, Ori's like, I'm here. Is the volley bear rage quit? Because he tried to do that really bad dive, and then I've not seen him since. He did. He didn't teleport there. That was Ari TP. Genuinely, I think the volley bear might have just rage quit the game because he died once. Because he tried to tower dive and it didn't work. Hmm. That would be two games in a row. Hey, Win Fang. That would be two games in a row of a rage crit. Oh, there he is. He's back. He definitely left the game or something, though. He's She's caught up in XP. They're both now level 8. Wait, what? Nami... Why is Nami here, dude? What is going on? I mean, I'm helping the Riven, which is good. And now you're dead again. I... What? Why is Nami here? I don't know. Sometimes you can make a prediction of why she's there. Other times, there's genuinely no reason that she's there. Her gin is fed, and she just left the gin for genuinely no reason. There's no objective. There was no... Oh, the fish... Fish, fish. The barrier. Woo! I'm fine. Wasn't even close. And that got Ari killed because I went back in and she wanted me. Ooh. Nice. Fizz is getting very fed here. Nami has gone from having a fed Jin to now not really playing with him. And that has impacted them quite a lot. Yeah, something obviously happened to this Volley Bear. He left the game. He must have. He either was like raging and just at his base typing an essay. Or yeah. To... Oh, and that... Wait, what? Jin just died solo. I don't know what's 
Wing on. Everyone's dead. What's happened to the enemy team? They've all just got like mag mega tilted. Oh. Nautilus has got 2k gold. What the hell? Ari's now top lane again. The thing is, the Ari has mega focused into roaming. And mm, it get, that works, but like it has hurt her individual strength a lot. Moomoo might go straight there. Mm. If he's on it right now, there's nothing I can do, so I may as well just get gold. That's my thought process. Because if I like go, oh, I'm gonna run over there and stop him. By the time I get there, they're all dead, and I've just wasted time not getting gold. So I'm, my income. Is better off just farming right now. Did I say? Did I call misfortune something else? There you go. Wait, did he only get two or did he get three? I only saw two pop up. Did Rift Herald come and kill the last one? How many do they have? The Mumu was on there. He could be on this straight away. The enemy team of dead. Nice. And that's it. His ribbons recovered, but let's be up. Wait. Oh, he's doing like the old build that people do on doing on Volley Bear a few months ago. Is that still good? And like, genuinely, that's not utilizing like why Volley Bear is so kind of dumb. <laughs> I don't think that's as good now. This Volley Bear is doing an out of date build. Weird. He just gen like it, it's it's the modern build of Volley Bear is like Rod of Ages and then tacky stuff. Weird. It's funny when people play OP champs, but they completely missed what build to do. It's a bit peculiar. It's like, look, he's buying, I guess, a Rod of Ages now. If he's buying a Rod second, that makes no sense. I don't think mechanically this is a Riven player, by the way. Hello, Ari. We meet again. Oi, oi. Oh, the fish is like here somewhere. Um, that's like the whole enemy team. Hi. Let's make them notice. Let me I don't you. know what's going on. Step right up. Look out. Why was he just standing AFK? <laughs> I don't understand.
This Ari really wants me this game. Every fight she is focusing me. Mm. To be fair, a lot of players don't like Echo. Echo for some people is like Katarina. But our Fizz is 7 0, by the way. I didn't even notice. He is a fed a boy. Ari's cooldown with ult, obviously she's got malignance, is very low. Like it will legit be like god 40 seconds, maybe. There or thereabouts. Alright, we're not gonna get uh Rift Herald, but nor will the enemy team. I don't mind. A bit of a sloppy game, hasn't it? I will say in today's play session, I don't think I've played that well overall. Um, don't have smite yet. We will have it up. Not using abilities to purposely not clear it very fast. I know obviously some echoes go um, Nasha's tooth pretty early nowadays because it makes his clear a lot faster. Ooh. Oh, Jin hit me with Collector. Damn, Collector killed me. I hate when an item kills me, but it is what it is. He is just going to split push the whole game. Oh, wait, where did Riven die? Did she die to him or was Riven with us? Because this Volley Bear will have to do nothing but split push. He doesn't care about anything else. Which obviously is very lame, but they don't care. They don't care. I don't know if she died to him or not. Does anyone know if Riven died to Volley Bear or what? He is going Rod of Ages. You're buying Rod of Ages over 20 minutes into the game. That is insanity. So just in explaining why is that insane. So Rod of Ages is the item that you buy and then it takes 10 minutes for it to kind of mature and you get stats and stuff for 10 minutes into the game. This game is likely probably not going to last another 10 minutes. So buying an item that takes that long to mature is just silly. Very silly. And he overstays. What the? What? This is weird. Maybe he's like lagging like mad, but like that doesn't explain why he's buying Rod of Ages at 20 plus minutes into the game. That just seems a bit trolling. Tomorrow's the last one. I didn't go straight to Baron, by the way, because I didn't have Spike. Ooh, that was a Mimuel. Oh, it's all of them again. Our Fizz never is at the fight before the Ari. I know she's got mobility, but the Fizz should be there. So yeah, he's genuinely... So he's doing the modern build now, but he bought an Unending Despair first. Rod of Ages and then into that weird crit item is what Volley Bears do. They normally don't do that first. That's weird. Very weird. Riven 666, yeah. Mechanically, the Riven isn't great, I will say. If you've been watching her closely, she's not a Riven player. She obviously got away a lot this game with the Volley Bear DCing or going AFK. You have to remember, she got beat quite badly already in the early game and then Volley Bear left. So she got quite away with that situation. Oh, that hook. Oh, she's dead. And she is doing... Well, she's quite weak, but... Oh, 
Why does she have barrier? He's so fast, isn't he? Alright, let's go Baron now. A movement probably will try. Oh, wait, I didn't realize the movement was one and eight. Did not realize that. Good if Nautilus could stand a little bit closer. Go, but he, I don't know what like, the Amumu was waiting in this bush. That's where the Amumu was. Okay. Wondering where he was. Hmm. And Volibear is just going from side lane to top lane to side lane to bot lane. Are we surprised? Yeah. Not really. Said that's kind of all this Volibear wants to do is to push. Army died again. 1 and 12. Right Weird thing, and I said it earlier, she kind of did it to herself. What lane was doing well, like Jin was fed, he still is strong. And then Nami just started to roam for no reason. She was top lane at a really weird time. And then she started dying a lot. She left a, a lane that was winning to, to, to die a lot. Don't get it. It's where, like, again, a lot of modern supports, they know roaming can be beneficial, but they don't always know why. If you don't have a reason why you're doing it, don't do it. Especially on, like, an actual enchanter support. That was great. Big misfortune art. This is coming, and they'll be fine. GG. Nice. And Volibear is still going to be split pushing bot lane. Some say he is split pushing. When this game is over, he'll be split pushing still, even though the game has ended. Now the question will be, we're on finishing the game, will he still be split pushing? <laughs> Why have I got aggro? Did I not go at the right time? Oh, wait, the waves died. Ooh. Wait, Nami died. His tower, he's still split pushing. No cares are given. Just an, I don't know, like, it's obviously like the Bowser of a Vest. They play, they, their fun is in ways that I can't understand that day in and out you have fun doing. Like, that just doesn't seem fun to me. But we all have fun doing different things. That's what makes us individuals. I would wager, I think a lot of the people that do that, they aren't actually having fun. It's just an effective way to climb. Because it is effective. Is a Moomoo now doing it? What the heck is going on? He is. Um. Hmm. Oh, that was so close. A bit. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Great big bubble. Oh, that was just shy. Nope. It's... Yeah, he reloaded his last bullet. Oh, la 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 la. Hmm. 
And that's the worst time for a gin to not have bullets. So, hello, fish. If there are limits, I haven't found them yet. Look out. Oh, hello. Look all the Bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Get about your worries and your spot. I mean the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Get about the food. <laughs> well, that means obviously this will be the last game of today. Um, and it, you know, it means we've gotten up to E, which isn't too bad for day one. We did. I did do two repeats, so I could have technically been even further. But yeah, after, uh, we well, the first game, the Aurora game, is the actual one that is going to be uploaded. But I'm just going to have to record a POV commentary. Um, the second Aurora game was uh, not great, but yeah. And then we played B twice, I think. But I don't. Yeah, we played B something and then Bard. Um Oh I'd behind North Yeah, there's nothing we can really gain. If I saw Idlevaven. Not sure why Amumu did that. Um, I mean, we probably can just go in, to be honest. Eat. Oh, he died. There you go, that's game. Echo feels pretty good still. Like, his damage profile is really high. <coughs> I think this game would have been closer, obviously, without... Whatever the hell happened to the volley bear, it would have been closer if he obviously didn't DC because that got Riven back into the game. Uh, June Marrow, 29 months of Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate the resub. But yeah, that, that got the Riven back in um, completely to the game. Uh, the Riven was getting destroyed before that point. So we're not too far away from D2. I think majority of this A to Z, by the way, I think majority of it I'm going to do on this account um obviously when you're playing random champs and different champs every game it is harder to do it on in diamond one i am going to do a big push back to get to master on the mundo's nurse account by the way and oh well, hell it could even happen on this account so we've got like for me recording this just over three weeks left of this split we could we can get master again obviously i'm going on holiday next week for five days whenever i've come back from holiday typically we climb a dumb amount it's weird i guess it's because i'm relaxed and refreshed um but in, if we can get this account in at least mid-Diamond 2 in this week, then I might, when I get back from vacation, focus on trying to get the Huzzy account back to Master, because this account obviously hasn't been Master this this year. So that would be kind of cool. But uh, overall, not too bad. So new Alphabet Challenge has begun. Uh, just to kind of go over it again, reminding everybody, if you've missed some episodes, you've most likely not subscribed to the Huzzy Extra account. We have done an Aurora game, a Bard game, a Caitlyn game, a Mundo game, and an Echo game. And we are sitting at technically five wins, but two of the games that I played, I did repeat an A game and I did repeat a B game. We lost both of those games. So overall today, we went five wins, two losses, but on the uploads of this A to Z, we've won all five. So not bad. Uh, but that's gonna be it if you guys did enjoy do throw a like on it throw a comment throw a subscribe hopefully you guys are looking forward to round two of the a to z challenge and um, yeah like and subscribe see you guys next time peace Crawl down!